Hello, Libras. This is Tara Queen Jamella here to do your um, money and prosperity reading for May of 2018. Uh, this is going to include your lucky dice, lucky days of the week, and lucky numbers. So welcome to the channel. Uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you need a private reading. The link to my website is below. Um, I do also offer other spiritual services such as cleanses, hex removals, reversals, money spells, and love spells. So you can uh, contact me for that kind of work, okay? All right. So, um, again, this is a general reading. So if this reading doesn't resonate for you, then you can go and look at your rising sign. Or if you have any uh, financial or career concerns, you can uh, contact me for a reading, okay? Uh, Spirit Guides Ancestors, Archangel Michael. I don't know why I haven't invoked him today. <laughs> um, like I was saying, I ordered some angel oracle cards and they will be here very soon. And so I am very excited about giving you guys your um, angel readings. So I'm excited, ecstatic about that. All right. Spirit Guides Ancestors, Guardian Angels for the Libras. Okay, where do you see Libra's financial situation being in May and what is it currently? So we'll look at this will either this could be what's going on current, but we're really going to be looking at May. Okay, um, where can Libra find new sources of income? Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, what opportunities will come up? Okay, for uh, Libra to consider uh, what, how will these new opportunities benefit Libra and final money and career outcome for May of 2018 for the Libras. All right. Okay. Very, very good, Libra. <laughs> Looking at your outcome now. I can see a job offer coming to you in May. Um, the offer may already be out there on the table. You know, they may have, you may have interviewed for several different jobs. Uh, you, I feel like a lot of you Libras have several different offers on the table that you are considering as well as several options. Now, <clears throat> uh, where will new sources of income come from? And you got the judgment card. So just the judgment card showing up in this reading, it means that a lot of you Libras are really considering your next move very carefully when it comes to your career. Um, I feel like you are not, you're not trying to make the decision so quickly is what I can sense. Uh, opportunities to consider is the Three of Swords. So I feel like the Three of Swords represents, um, feel like it represents you helping people that have been hurt in some kind of way. Uh, whether or not it represents being somebody's counselor, um, you know, drug and alcohol counseling is really popular field to get into these days. Um, nursing. So some of you are. I can see a lot of Libras sort of. Maybe maybe you're fresh out of school. I can see a lot of you as, as being fresh out of school. In particular, nursing school, um, either nursing school or something to do with law, something to do with the law or legal. Uh, maybe some of you have been studying <clears throat> to become an attorney, maybe some kind of legal secretary work or something is what I can see, especially with this judgment card coming up. But I feel like the Three of Swords in particular, if it's the medical field, it's where you help people in a crisis. So it may also be paramedic. Maybe some of you guys are considering going into uh, being a paramedic, or maybe some of you are paramedics, okay? 
um, how this <clears throat> these new opportunities will benefit you. And you got the Tower card. So, yeah, that is the Tower card. <laughs> I always have to double check with this deck, but yeah, it's the Tower card. It's a totally different change. How they will benefit you is change. Um, it'll be good for you. I feel like this is where you are being of service to others, Libra. I feel like this is where you are... Um, helping people out, helping people that are less fortunate, okay? And it's really not the best feeling in the world when you have to see people that are in their in their time of suffering, but it will help change your pers your perspective. So, you know, it's it's good I feel like it's good for you to, you know, to give yourself a service to others. So that's what I feel it is because the Tower card does represent being a little flaky, being a little, you know, um, shallow, okay? And realizing that life is a little bit deeper than what you've always thought. So I feel like that House of Cards is coming down, that false indoctrination, you know, things that you thought is now something different. So let me ask Spirit. Give me some clarity on this tower card. Oh yeah, the star card. Very nice. So I feel like what the star card represents, Libra, again, is giving yourself a service to others, healing others, will help heal you. And believe it or not, a lot of people wonder what is the secret to healing. It is helping others. When you help others, you help yourself. Because then you are creating blessings for other people. And that means you're going to feel better. You're going to feel healed because you're healing others, especially those that are around you. Okay, you know, especially if you are empathic, I get the sense that this is for a lot of you Libras that are healers. Okay, and are either empaths. And see, the way that empathic, empathic gifts work is they can sometimes work in reverse. So especially some of you that have been sort of not using good judgment and possibly you could have been harming someone else. It's time for you to pay it back. It's time for you to give your healing energy to the universe and to others. Okay. And to be honest with you, uh, let me clarify judgment. Spirit, give me some clarity on the judgment card. So just looking a little bit deeper at that. Yeah. The world card. So, you know, I feel like the world card represents peace. It represents harmony. It represents closure. So I feel like a lot of you are going to be getting closure on something. And um, so, yeah, some of you are going to heal yourselves just simply by helping others. Now, your final outcome, guess what, is the Ten of pen Pentacles, Ten of Coins. So there's your fortune cookie. This entire reading, <laughs> okay, you have to consider all of what Spirits is saying, okay? It's not just about the end result, it's about the journey as well. So you got to pay attention to what you're doing and use better judgment in order to find that, find that peace, find that balance. Okay. Good outcome though with the Ten of Pentacles. It represents being successful. It represents being financially secure, secure within yourself, you know, feeling good about yourself. Insecurity is not just about how you look. It's also about how you act and how you treat others. When you know that you have done correct and when you know that you have done right by others, then you don't feel that insecurity. But insecurity and feeling lost, if you have went out there and made somebody else feel that way, then it's going to come back on you. And so that was what that judgment card was. Okay. Here is the Here is lucky 
numbers, lucky days, or monthly benefits to the report in May of 2018. Look at that. Stability, see there? You got the number 10, so you already got the 10 of Pentacles, so there's a repeating number 10. You got 10 two, two, two or three different ways. <clears throat> All of this adds up to a number 10, so you're going to be getting some closure in the month of May. Okay, also each of these threes represent growth and blessings, so these two together is a blessing. So you got some kind of uh, money, unexpected unexpected money is coming in May, okay? Um, 12 is a lucky number, reduce that to 3. 10 is a lucky number, reduce that to 1. 6 is a lucky number, 3 is a lucky number, 34, <clears throat> 43, 24, The 12th is going to be an extremely lucky day in May. Uh, so is the 6th, the 9th, maybe even the 3rd. Trying to see any more numbers. Three, six, nine. The fifteenth is a lucky day. Okay, so I can definitely see the money. Good deal. Thank you so much for watching, Libras. <laughs> Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, thumbs this reading up, and you can always go to the website and donate to the channel, in particular in May. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Blessed be.